Hello gang, so in this chapter we are going to be creating some calculations and I want us to use a new data module, okay? So if you go and you look at the files or downloads section of the course, you are going to see a file called sample sales calculatics, okay? I want you to locate this file and I want you to drag it into the Cognos interface and drop it into data module. We are going to be creating a data module based on this data and we are going to use it for the query calculations, all right? Because I, I feel like the type of calculations that we are going to be making, it will make sense to use sales data rather than the service request data. Okay, so once it imports, it takes you over to the data module screen, all right? So let's see, I am going to review the file. I see that it is, it is this sample sales calculatics and it is arranged like how I would like it to be arranged but let's perform some formatting very quickly because I see that some things are off okay so product line is fine product product line code is fine product line is fine this is a code product type product number however we need to change that to an identifier I don't want it to be a measure I want it to be an identifier because we are never going to do any calculations, but we might do a count or a count distinct at some point. So let's see, product number, all right? So product, product type is fine, product. They all look good because they are identifiers. That is fine. It represents test. Order method is fine. All right, so retailer country is looking good as well. Province and state looks good, city, postal code, short postal code. I don't think we really need these two, but we are still going to keep it in there. It doesn't hurt. Year and quarter is fine. Okay, so let's see if we are going to sort the quarter. Let's enable the sort, and it's going to sort it alphabetically. The year as well, let's enable it, and let's sort ascending. This is going to help us when we use it for any dashboards. It is going to automatically sort it. So if I look at quantity, total is fine. Unit cost total, we'll keep it that way, is okay. Well, if unit price is average, then let's change unit cost to average as well. All of this, you know that you can change in the report, but I prefer that you follow along. This is total, that is fine. Product cost, gross, plan revenue. Okay, so this looks good. I want you to go and save as. I'm going to go over to my data modules and I'm going to call this sales data. And I'm going to put Cognitics on it so that I don't confuse it with any other sales data. And usually I put dash on it and I call it data module. All right, so you can save it the same way, put it in a folder that you are going to remember and uh, we, we are, we'll be ready to go. Okay, so save. 